Good morning, my beautiful collective. I wasn't planning a second reading today. But daddy was sitting here just thinking. There's someone trying to block your fucking way. What is this energy, guys? Oh, the snake in the grass. The snake's in the grass. Snakes, snakes, plural, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Let's agitate the devil. Ooh, baby. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring, ring, ring. Oh. What is this fucking energy, guys? Who's the snake in the grass and what the fuck are they planning to accomplish? Spirit, what's up with this? You all brought it on. Let's see what we got. Ooh. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful fucking collective. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Nine of Swords, and here's this Ace of Wands. Action. 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 The sleeper cell, right? Your fear. Someone trying to work on your fear. Someone trying to manipulate. Someone's in their head over something about getting this new start. Or something's going to start and someone's afraid. You know what I mean? Nine of Cups with the Ten of Swords, right? The snake in the grass. Their wish fulfillment is to put that tenth sword in your ass. Or someone's going to get ten swords in their ass. Yeah, look at this. That would bring them happiness. So whoever the hell you're dealing with is cold-hearted piece of shit. But do you really think spirit's going to let someone get happy doing all that sword work? Do you really think spirit's going to work that way? You think that's how God works, letting some freaking low vibe and energy put ten swords in and think they're going to live happily ever after? Oh, hell no. God's like, mm-mm, I'm going to go pick that person up and we're going to give them the happiness and we're going to send them swords back in your direction. So you got to defend. Whatever the hell it is you're working on, you got to defend it to the end, man. You know what? Keep vibing in the light. Keep your energies positive. Turn that shit around. It's going to say, turn that shit around, clown. Peru, Indiana is the circus capital of the world, guys. We got an amateur circus in town that's awesome. If y'all ever get about to travel, you should come check it out. It's uh, third week of July. They didn't have it last year because of COVID. Because whatever someone's trying to do, whatever someone was planning to do, uh, it ain't working. Eight of Pentacles there with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, uh, they're actually losing money. So whatever, if someone thought this was going to be the outcome, yeah, Spirit's got your back on this. Because Spirit's going to say, oh, they can try whatever the fuck they want. This is going to be their energy. It ain't going to work. They're going to waste time, energy, and money. And at the end of the day, they're going to be broke. They're going to end up in the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Well, you, my dear, are going to get the happiness, right? I told you, spirit ain't going to let this person get away with doing this to someone else and, and claim happiness. So whoever gets the knives in the back, happy days are here again. Let's sing a song of cheer again. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Because here we go. That, that Ace of Wands, Spirit is bringing growth, new life, new blood, new venture to a situation. And this just has someone all fucked up in their fucking head. Nine of Swords in reverse, nine of, uh, Ten of Cups in reverse with the Nine of sword, or Wands in reverse. It ain't working. It ain't working. We got the Empress here in reverse. So it's a feminine energy. Well, them scales are going to get balanced out with the truth. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And like I said, whoever wanted to put them swords in someone's back, be prepared for that tower. For some of you, this could be a, a partnership, 
a third party person trying to fuck with some shit. If y'all got someone meddling in your relationship. But that ain't going to work either. Because they no longer together. They no longer fucking. And there's judgment being passed on this. Someone's past is going to come back and bite them in the ass. Okay? Because remember, whatever someone was planning on doing ain't working. So baby mama here is going to get some justice. And the truth is going to get told. So, you know, if someone was trying to keep a baby mama down. Mm-mm. I think this baby mama's going to get some justice. This baby mama ain't feeling too happy. And you know, think of a third party. If someone had a third party situation and someone got pregnant and someone ain't wanting to take responsibility for the child, I think old baby mama's going to have that in the court system. It's all going to come out. Truth's going to come out. DNA tests, all that shit. And someone's... Someone's foundation, someone's contract, whatever the fuck is going on, it's going to bite them in the ass. So someone was, you know, trying to pay someone to keep them quiet. Oh, that shit's going to come out. Because the shit ain't worked, right? Someone's losing their ass keeping something going. They thought they were going to end somebody, right? Spirit's going to give this person happiness and a new start. That's how God works, right? Whoever put them swords in is going to get them swords back. Spirit's going to be like, hey, bitch. Hey, bitch, did you leave something? Here. Let's give you your fucking swords back. <laughs> really, spirit? Really, spirit? Y'all take what's yours and leave the rest. Let's see what's up. What's going on in this situation? I think some baby mama, though, is gonna... She's gonna fight for what's hers. If someone was keeping someone down, or, yeah. There's going to be balance brought to a situation. And that's going to bring some fucking conflict in. When shit gets balanced out, right? See someone giving to more than one here, shortchanging the other. Well, someone's getting a little sick of that shit, right? Right? If the side chick's knocked up, but they're still with whoever the hell they're with, or... Baby daddy, you know, got the side chick going on here. Baby mama's getting tired of not getting her fair share. How about that? Which is only right. If they've had your child, they deserve they deserve some time and respect. Strength in reverse, it's going to catch someone off guard. Strength in reverse, temperance, and the higher font. Yeah. They're going to have a pretty weak case in court, right? Because this temperance, this is like God saying, nope, you've got to give equally to the cups. So if this was someone, you know, wanting to spread their love around, right? There's got to be healing taking place. Things have got to be put right. Maybe someone's going to realize that. And, and, and with the higher font in reverse here, we've had the judgment in reverse and we've had justice. So if someone was trying to keep a situation, uh, you know, they didn't want... A child known about, well, that's going to come to an end. Baby mama's going to say, fuck this shit. My child's going to get what's rightfully theirs. And y'all, this has shown up in more than one of my fucking readings. So y'all, take it how it resonates. Yeah, because we, we got some negative energy here. The high priestess in reverse, someone does not want to see someone come back. Someone wants to keep somebody down. You know, the hermit there, they're watching, they're stalking. The page of pentacles in reverse and the star in reverse. It's a very unhealed situation, right? Someone's just paying to, like, try to solve a problem, giving the bare minimum, but they're not really doing the healing work. Now, if there's a baby mama involved, you know, she's got to be healing. Uh, she's dealing with childbirth and, and, and all that comes with that, dealing with the baby. Because I'm thinking like baby energy, guys. This is like, a this is an infant. But someone's wanting to keep this uh, like under control. Because they don't, they want to be able to still manage, manage shit. But uh, you see, they know there's conflict. It's like if they don't, if they don't keep shit balanced out and be very fair, there's going to be this argument going on. But uh, I'm telling you what, spirit's going to bring this shit to light. And I think that's only right, guys. Baby mama should uh, get her due respect, right? 
She gave you a child. You should be respecting your child at the end of the day. Any of my, as I going to say, any of my fucking masculines? Yeah, she gave you a child. Act like a fucking man. A man uh, takes care of his child. A man isn't ashamed of his child. A man doesn't keep his child hid from the world. He should be proud. If you're not proud of your child, then you're not a fucking man. Hence the emperor in reverse here. But boy, see this Knight of Cups energy. This is, uh, this is, um, yeah, this is like player playboy energy. They give just enough love and affection to keep someone quiet because they don't want to take responsibility for what the fuck they've done. You think God likes that? You think God's going to let these men get away with what they do to their children? Nope. He's going to let them stick in their, in their, in their, um, emotional lies and deception. And eventually them swords are going to come back. Remember whoever wanted to put ten swords in someone's back? Maybe them ten swords was supposed to be in baby mama's back, right? Get out of here. Shut up. Uh, we don't want you to say anything. I think baby mama's going to get going to get some gumption and going to go after what, what her and her baby deserve. Deserve. But do be Larry, because the past wants to come back here at this Page of Cups offer, guys. So for some of you ladies, if this is your story, just make sure this emperor doesn't try to come back and uh, uh, do a half-ass apology just to keep your mouth shut. Uh, get the DNA testing. Get, get, get shit done. Because this person doesn't want to end this situation. Yeah, these cards wanted to show up again. Nine of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, they don't want to, they don't want to disrupt their happy home. Because this emperor's in his happy home trying to protect his happiness. He ain't worried about his child. Remember, he's the emperor in reverse. He's not taking any responsibility for his child. Because he's only worried about, you know, the nine of swords in reverse, the lovers in reverse, the three of cups, and the judgment. He don't want people to realize what the hell he's done. Who the hell he's done, right? The emperor's in reverse here with justice? Oh, Baby mama's going to get some fucking justice. You see that? Now we got the emperor in reverse and the empress here in reverse. So you could have two people trying to keep someone down. Either way, y'all, we got someone not wanting to take responsibility for the child. The truth will come out and will cause a fucking tower moment. And disrupt. Someone's false stability. Someone's false contract, right? Three of pentacles in reverse and the three of swords. Someone had it all planned out how they were going to work something, right? It could have been a contract sign. Maybe maybe baby mama signed a contract. Hey, we'll give you X amount of money. We'll do this. We'll do that. Just keep your fucking mouth shut. No one can know about it. Baby mama's out there. Especially if you know he's living a happily ever after with someone else. You go get what's your, owed your child, okay? Get what's owed your child. Whether you need anything from this emperor or not, get, get, get shit for your child. They want to live happily ever after. They can pay the price for what the hell they've done. Yeah, because look at this. The world, the nine of cups, and seven of wands. Honey, you go after and defend your child's new world. You start getting some money in your child's name to help your child have a good new start in life. Not be put down because some masculine don't want to take responsibility for his child. Give your child every option that they deserve in life. Anything that they have owed them by their blood, by their father. Why do you let the let people see that this uh, this masculine energy don't take care of his fucking children, his offspring? Because you know the good Lord up above is going to factor that shit in. Four of swords here, five of pentacles, and the three of cups. Yeah. Baby mama's been out in the cold a little too long. Baby mama, it's time you join the party. Okay? And by that, it's time you started getting your, your time attention and uh, your baby's time and attention, right? How could a man have a child and not spend all the time in the world with it? Right? How can you bring a child into this world and deny it? Uh, your love and attention. How can you not celebrate? How could you not celebrate the birth 
of your own fucking child. How can you not do that? What's that say about a man's character? It says he has none. Heal the situation. Maybe mama's ready to come out of the cold. And she's going to get what's owed her and her child's. So, baby mama, how much are you really getting at the end of the day? Y'all go back and look. Some of them, that Gemini video I did, it's up to like 20-some thousand views about the child being born and adults not wanting to take any responsibility for it. This energy is showing up again. Honey, go after what your child deserves, okay? I don't care what kind of contract or anything you sign. Go after what your child has deserved. Because this man, this masculine energy, this emperor in reverse, uh, isn't taking responsibility for his child. And you know that he will get uh, judged for that by God up above. His ancestors, his grandfathers, his grandmothers, his, his, his family is wondering why the hell he isn't taking responsibility for his fucking child. Mm-mm-mm. The baby mama. Be on the lookout. Peace, love, and light.